All right, guys, here it is. This is my budget build. And I have got to say that I am completely pleased with this build. I'm going to talk about things that, uh, the, my part selection, and I'll show you some DVR footage of me racing around our track uh, at, at an event we just recently had. I actually had another frame that I was using as my primary, and I brought this as a backup. And I finished this on Saturday, or, or I finished this on Friday. The race was Saturday. And the flight controller did come off of another build. But so I did have a lot of time tuning it, so it's tuned up really nice, and I was able to throw it in and uh, really, I <laughs> actually performed better flying this than I did my other build. So that should uh, be enough right there. So I'm going to run down the parts that I selected and tell you. Um, you know why I went with them because there's some things on here that I think some people would deem as overkill. Sorry, my OCD is uh, getting to me right now, but I don't think it's overkill at all. So anyway, this is the Martian 220 V2 frame, okay? And what I went with was the Omnibus flight controller. I have uh, this, well, the frame, first of all, is $29 on eBay. So what did I do? I bought two of them. So for 60 bucks, I've got two frames. I either have a backup or spare parts uh, and a running model or two running models. Anyway, so 30 bucks, basically. The motors, these are DYS 2205, 2550 KV motors. Okay, this is an $18 motor. It's a little bit under, I guess, the going rate for a good performance motor uh, in that class, which is usually around $25. Uh, so it's a couple bucks cheaper. The ESCs, I went with the 30 amp ESCs, the DYS Excess 30 amp BL Heli S ESCs. And the reason I went with 30 amp ESCs, I know a lot of people are running 20 amps on here, but. While I say this is a budget build, I really want it to be a high performance, uh, long lasting, durable budget build, not just a piece of junk budget build. I want you to build something that you're going to be happy with and have for a while, not something that is going to be more trouble than it's worth. So uh, one of the reasons I went with the 30 amp ESCs is because these motors will pull 27 amps uh, all day long. So for me to put a 20 amp ESC on there, why really stress out those ESCs when you could just have the 30 amps? Okay, uh, I, I don't know, but that's just me. So the Omnibus flight controller has a built-in OSD. This is a $40 part, okay? The camera is the Runcam Swift. This is a $39 part. The RX I have on here is a really small lemon RX. It's actually uh, glued down to the top of the flight controller right there. Okay, eight bucks. The VTX, this is the BTEC VTX. If you haven't seen the review on this that I did, uh, go back to my channel and click on this uh, video and watch that video. But it's a good VTX. It's a it's got a pit mode, so it's, it can be on and not broadcasting, and then it's got 25, it's got uh, 200 and 600 milliwatts. Now, originally, I was going to go with my Hawkeye, but when I had to throw this thing in there, I actually, at the race, was running this VTX. I had this one on here. This was the this is the Diatone SP2. But I wanted to do the review on this, and I I like it so much, and it's cheaper, twenty five bucks. The Hawkeye's, you know, thirty seven bucks. The SP two is thirty two dollars. So this is the cheaper one, and I like the performance of it. So after having used it, I can actually recommend it. So we got a twenty five dollar VTX on here. If you go with the SP two, you can get the pigtailed version. That one's thirty two dollars, still cheaper than the Hawkeye. So 
you're looking right here, you're looking at $283 or $290 if you go with the, um, the SP2 pigtail version. Now, the only thing that I put on here that isn't included in the kit is this uh, purple aluminum hardware. The purple standoffs do come in the kit. The PDB does come in the kit. These blue ones do not. Uh, these purples don't. You're going to get iron like this. And this is all factory uh, kit stuff there. So this frame is uh, really, really stiff, really rigid. There's no slop in the arms. Um, I, I have a friend who's gotten a, who has a real alien five inch and his fuselage is a little bit longer. So this one is shorter, which I like. And there's no uh, props in view because of that. The side plates do have, unlike the real alien, uh, the side plates do have three predetermined slots and I'll go over what those are in a minute. But something I really like about this frame unlike the uh, arm tan is I have really good camera protection here uh, via aluminum. Or if I want to put titanium, I've got titanium strength, right? It's not just the strength of carbon on its side. So I'm really, really, really liking this frame. I crashed into a pole a couple times and had no camera issues whatsoever. So let's take a look at the actual kit. All right, so this is what you're gonna get. And we'll, we'll open it up. We'll pull this thing out first. All right. It actually comes with uh, a pretty good exploded diagram. And it's color too. It's color on yellow. So this is uh, how they recommend doing the XT60, which is supplied in the kit. You will get a yellow one. I had a black one laying around. I think the black looks better. And I would definitely recommend pigtailing it. If you do this, when your batteries eject and whatnot, it tugs and pulls on this PDB and you can crack that PDB and then it's done. Uh, the pigtail just for whatever reason lasts longer, okay? So here, uh, revisiting the side plate, you have 15, 30, and 45. I actually was racing on a 30 degree angle with a stock 2.8 lens and was moving around the track uh, I did not have the fastest times, but the race was a two-minute um, lap, or it was a two-minute uh, time to get as many laps as you could, and I was turning out six laps, and the fastest guy there was turning at his most was seven laps, so you, you're, this is plenty fine, plenty, plenty fine. It does have this back plate, which I've got an issue with this, and I'll talk about that, but you have your top plate base plate, you have these weird uh, antenna thing, which I did not use. Um, yeah, just didn't use it. And you also get this plate right here, which is awesome. I wish every single frame came with this plate because this solves and cleans up your build and uh, solves a lot of problems. So that's uh, really nice that this came with this. And of course you have all your M3 uh, iron hardware. The iron is uh, button head, not cap, like depicted in this sheet. So uh, I guess we got some geometry stuff and specs of the frame here. So yeah, that's nice. And let's open up the kit. So first we got uh, standoffs, five millimeter male, female with nuts. Okay. Nothing else in the box. Here are your aluminum standoffs with those three little things for that weird top plate, uh, which is in here. Uh, take a look at this. Okay. We have the arms. We have our main plate and our top plate. Okay, our iron, again, this is um, button head, not cap. This is button head, not cap, and we have aluminum lock nuts, so that's good. We have our power distribution board, yellow XC60, our camera back plate, and this is a insulator for the power distribution board because 
some of the traces, I guess, uh, or just out of paranoia, which shouldn't be. This, this power distribution board is covered completely, so you shouldn't have any issues. But over time with vibration and all that, you might, uh, you know, chisel away at this. So this is just a little level of protection. I would definitely install this. I did it on mine. I would not skip that. And, um, yeah, there's a PDB. So, uh, the frame, the base plate, you have a base plate thickness of two mil. Okay. Your top plate, a little thinner, 1.5 mil. Camera side plates, 1.5 mil. Weird thing. 1.5, close enough, 1.46. This plate, 1.5, okay? Uh, arms. Let's do a little test here. 3.96, 4 4.30. So not, uh, not totally, you know, not crazy impeccable, but guys, this is a $30 frame. Keep that in mind. Okay. Also, this stuff is pretty damn stiff, man. This is, it's a thinner weave than what you would find in like Armitan. Uh, so it actually uh, looks like the same weave that the Alien uh, has it's, a, it's just a smaller pattern uh, let's talk about this guy real quick so my gripe with this was uh, first of all it comes with these screws if you put these screws into your camera you're going to um, well you won't get it in there let's just say that that camera is meant for self tapping screws which is supplied with your kit when you buy your camera. So I would suggest using those. Um, so here, th there's really no need for this plate. Let me take that off real quick. All right, so this is just a uh, empty camera, but it's the same shape. So it serves its purpose. Uh, you can, if you're running an owl, run it this way, or you can run it this way because the swift and the owl uh the plugs are on the top and bottom they're they're on the opposite sides so uh the holes basically getting to my point do not line up and if you i thought about drilling it out but then i said to myself well self uh then the head of the screw is going to pass through the hole that you just drilled out uh so i decided to go against that and what I did decide to do was just screw it in at an angle because these are self-tapping screws. And even though there is a, uh, you know, piloted hole, predetermined path, uh, I knew that this self-tapping screw would just drill into whatever the hell it hit and it was going to uh, make its own way. And it did, and it worked out nicely. So when you see that, that, that it doesn't line up quite right, don't get too uh, upset about that. It's a $30 frame, and uh, this one is flush, and this one's got a little bit of a, a kink to it. There, you can kind of see it right there. Oh, come on, camera focus. Yep, there we go. See? But that's that's no matter. I mean, it's, it's on there pretty dang good. Uh, not to mention, you will have this uh, ability to... Um, screw in to your camera here properly like you should and once that's all together and it's on your frame like this this camera is 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 housed in there very nicely there's no jello there's no wiggle if if you're seeing that uh land and tighten your lens because that's probably going to be the only th thing that that could be so